Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we enable edit button on a related list. This was a question asked on my YouTube community. So I thought of making a quick video on this. Let's quickly jump to my service now instance. On this incident, we will scroll down at the bottom and we will see there is a related list called affected CIs. We will try to add edit button here. I will right click on any of the columns and then configure and go to list control. And in the list control, we would see a checkbox called omit edit button. Right now it is checked. So that means the edit button is not shown or will not be shown. If I uncheck this, the edit button will become available for everyone. And there is a new multi select field which comes up here which we can configure to show this edit button to some specific roles. For example, let's limit it to admin. So now this edit button would be available to the people who only have the admin role and I'm logged in as system administrator. So I should be able to see that edit button. Let's quickly test this. I'll go back to the incident screen and scroll down at the bottom. And here I can see the edit button now. Now to test it for other users, I will impersonate as maybe ITIL user. So ITIL. I will go to the incident form. And select the same incident. And I will scroll down at the bottom again and you would see edit button is not available for ITL user. So this is how you can maintain integrity and display edit button only to selected set of users based on the roles. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in comments if you have any questions. Thank you.